let it rip Now I'ma let it hit I'ma come with them with skills, make them wanna quit Best believe I'm set to win If you testing me, you better think again Let it rip Now I'ma let it hit I'ma come with them with skills, make them wanna quit Best believe I'm set to win If you testing me, you better think again Hey everyone, it's the Edge Guru. Um, I wanted to make a video explaining the tiers in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because a lot of people ask me, what do you mean by tier 1, tier 2, how many tiers are there, etc, etc, etc. Where would my deck fall, you know, stuff like that. So, I'm going to explain the tiers, and, you know, to you guys. To start off, there's tier 0. Tier 0 is that unbeatable deck. There's just no point in playing it. Um, back when the uh, Dark Arm Dragon first came out, you had the Dark Arm Dragon Swarms with the Dimension Fusion, Democ, Dark Arm, all that BS. And you could literally OTK someone every single game without even trying. Um, a lot of you might remember that Shonen Jump where the top, I think it was the top 29 decks were nothing but Dark Arm. Nothing. I think 30th was a Light Swarm and 31st was a Dark Arm. <laughs> I mean, the top 29 decks were Dark Arm, Dark Arm, Dark Arm, Dark Arm. I mean, the exact same deck list all the way up the chain. And that's a tier zero deck. That was a deck that dominated this format like none other. Um, there's been two emergency bans in Yu-Gi-Oh, and they were both on two zero, and they were both to stop tier zero decks. The first one was in the Cyberstein format. Cyberstein was a tier zero because it was just game over. <laughs> you know that Mortal Kombat saying, "Game over." Yeah, that's that's what Cyberstein was. Um, you wouldn't understand unless you played in the Cyberstein format. I've seen a lot of people look at Cyberstein and go, "Oh, he's a bad card." How does he kill people? You have no idea. Cyberstein was the most broken little pain in the rear you've ever versed. Um, so, there was an emergency ban in the Cyberstein format because the deck was literally tier zero. It just wrecked everything. Oh, what are you playing? Oh, wait, I don't care. As long as you're not playing Cyberstein, I win. I mean, and it was stupid because when you had Cyberstein versus Cyberstein, whoever won the roll would go second because they know they'd win. They're like, you can go first because I know I won on my turn. That is how it was. Um,. So Cyberstein was ridiculous format. It was that was a tier zero. I said the Dark Arm Dragon format was a tier zero. Just triple dads and democ and dimension fusions and retardedness. Just retardedness. But anyways, um, so you had that. Those are two tier zeros, and there were emergency bans on both of them. Um, if you want to know what those are, I'll try and post a link down below to the emergency bans, what got banned and whatnot, and I'll also try and post you know. A list of the tiers. So, tier 0 w is the deck that you just can't dominate. It just kills everything. Tier 1 is whatever's considered one of the best at the moment. Right now, tier 1 would be Samurai, Miracle Hero. Well, I mean, that's hard to say because the format's changing. We just got Trishula and we're waiting for Extreme Victory, so we don't know what's going to happen after that. But for the moment, it's Samurai, Miracle Hero, and. I don't know. I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, there are some random decks at top, but right now, Miracle Hero and Samurai, I know, are Tier 1. I'm not sure about the others. Um, I think Plants are considered Tier 1 right now, which I don't know why, but I think they are. Um, plant Sinker or whatever. So, I mean, there's about three Tier 1s right now, maybe a little more. Um, X Sabers are still considered... Well, I mean, X Sabers fall between Tier 1 and Tier 2. They keep jumping back and forth. Like, I would say they're probably Tier 2, just because they're not as prevalent. But they they still top, so you can consider them Tier 1 if you want to. Um, so, that's Tier 1. Tier 1.5 is the ones that are on the verge. They're, they're kind of there, they're kind of not. You know, they're, they're struggling. I would say X Sabers are sitting right there. Um, I would say X Sabers and Gravekeepers are both sitting on 1.5. They're, they're, they're good, they're just not consistent enough, I think. Um, or they've lost their speed compared to other decks. Um, so I would say they're sitting on the tier 1.5 hilt, which is, as I said, between 1 and 2. It's good, but it's just not good enough to just always win. Um, tier 2 are decks like Formula Monarch and Plant Synchro, Karakuri, Machina, um, Machinas, Gadgets, as I proved. Um, so, I mean, tier 2 are those decks that are good, they just they need more umph. They need another win condition, I guess. I don't know. Need, need another out. Um, so those are tier 2. Tier 2.5 are the decks that are still around, just not prevalent anymore. 
And for that, you've got like Glad Beast, Light Sworn. Um, I mean, just just the old. This is the decks that are still good. They're just not fast enough. You know, Light Sworn, Glad Beast, um, Dandy Warrior, stuff like that. And then tier three is just the decks that are good. They just don't make it out enough. You know, I mean, Hopeless Dragon. Good deck. It just against other decks these days. It just unfortunately doesn't st- stack. Doesn't stack up. Doesn't stand up. Whatever you want to say. Um, so those are the tiers one through three. Um, tier four is everything else. That's what it's considered. You have got every other deck tier four because um, they're not considered good right now. Um, like I don't know, Ojama OTK, Exodia OTK, um, any deck you can think of, Crystal Beast, whatever. You know, those are all considered tier four. So those are the tiers in Yu-Gi-Oh. And I said the, tier zero is very hard. I've only ever, ever seen two tier zero decks. That was Cyberstein, which was ridiculous, and Dark Arm when it first came out, which was ridiculous because they both just swept. They just sweeped you off the field. I mean, there was nothing you could do against them. They were ridiculous. So those are those are the tiers in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I hope that explains it to you guys a little bit. Um, So, I'll catch you all later.